I have previously made a video on how to improve focus and that remains the best performing video on this channel. So in today's video, we're taking it one step further. I have teamed up with Neophony, an Indian company that makes wearable EEG devices. So with this, I can now measure my own brain waves and actually see how different activities affect my brain. So I can find out what tactics help me improve my focus and what things end up distracting me. I'll also be able to see when am I mentally fatigued, when is my mind wandering or when am I daydreaming. Let's do this. Also, if you're new here, hi everyone, I'm Dr. Siddharth Warrior. I'm a neurologist and welcome to my YouTube channel. Here we talk about neuroscience and everything that you can do to make your brain healthier. If you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so. It means a lot to me and you'll get to see a lot more such interesting content on your timeline. So out of all the hacks that I have tried to improve my focus, the three that I have found most useful are decluttering my environment, meditation which includes breath work and eye control exercises so when i got my hands on a device that can measure my brain waves and tell me when i am in focus i knew i had to try out these three techniques the first thing i did was to try on the device itself and i could see my eeg on the monitor screen i tried a few mind exercises like letting my mind drift off and then focusing on an object to see how my brain waves change then i got to my first experiment I sat at a desk that was cluttered with objects and I tried to read a book while being in that distracted state. My phone was facing up and all my notifications were on full volume. After five minutes of doing this, I cleaned my desk, put my phone on silent, put off all my notifications, put the phone facing down so that I won't be disturbed and I started reading the book again. After that, I compared my brain EEG between these two states and the results were quite interesting. When I was surrounded by clutter, I could see my brain waves showing that I was distracted. There were a couple of times when I could see my attention shifting. When I was in a clean environment without any clutter around me, I could see my focus level was much higher. I could see my brain activity was more in the beta wave range, which means I was in a state of higher attention. For my second experiment, I wanted to see the effect that meditation will have on my focus. I recorded a baseline and then did 20 minutes of my deep breathing meditation exercise. The breathing protocol is called resonance frequency breathing. And if you're interested in learning more about it, I've made a video explaining just that, so check it out in the link below. After 20 minutes of breath work, I could feel a difference not only in my attention level, but I was also feeling more calm and peaceful, and the EEG reading on the device was reflecting this. The graph of my brain waves were clearly more in the focus zone. And finally, I tried out the eye gaze exercise. So this one is my favorite because it is something I recently understood the significance of, although after reading more about it, I learned that this practice was described in ancient yogic practices where it was called as the Trataka exercise. I started by staring at a single point for five minutes without letting my eye gaze shift and throughout the exercise the Neophony device was monitoring my EEG and again I could see that as the practice progressed my brain waves shifted from a distracted to a focused state. My brain activity was initially in the alpha zone which suggests distraction and as I kept going through the exercise it switched to the beta wave range. These experiments were not only interesting but also valuable to me. I could see in real time how these exercises were changing my brain wave activity and this has helped me optimize my schedule better and also give me new ideas of what else I can try to help improve my focus. I would say it has made me more self self-aware and mindful of how physical activities can help change my state of mind. It reminded me of this experiment that was done on students where 20 minutes of walking before an exam actually helps students improve their memory and concentration. It just goes to show that the brain and the body are so connected and this device is one way of physically showing how your mindset can change. So if you had to do this experiment on yourself, what activities do you think will change your brain waves? Also, if you are a researcher or somebody interested in neurobiofeedback, the Neophony device is definitely one that I would recommend you check out because it gives you a real-time understanding about your patient or your client's brain state. If you like this video, hit the like button. Tell me in the comments what other experiments you'd like me to try with this or would you like me to bring some guests and put this on them to see what their brain is doing? Let me know. I hope you enjoyed that video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye everyone. Take care.